Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel YouTube. I do have on a shirt, okay? It's just, you know, the angle that we're hitting at. You can't really see it, but it's there. Um, you guys were on my case about making sure that I came back with another story time in another video. So here we go are okay we are definitely here to give that to you i'm on my way to a pool party and why do i have to do my makeup because you guys want content so for that alone you should go ahead and like the video right but let's go ahead and get started because your girl can't be late because this event is being hosted um by yeah and i can't be late so let's go all right i'm gonna be using a little bit of my nyx pencil i'm gonna give y'all this story time hopefully it goes by quick because girl like i told you i have to go but do y'all see the hairline i need y'all to get into the hairline girl i've been using this tresemme i done figured out how to use it the next tutorial i'm gonna give it to you okay because i figured it out because i'm like girl i mean y'all even see like the little dent where i tell y'all about the little dent of the hair being too tight that is what's going on right now okay there's a little bit of a dent in there um Anyway, I guess this story time shall be called, I don't know, I really don't want to name drop, but then it's like, it's been so long that, is he really watching? But then again, I don't be knowing who be watching my channel, so I don't, hmm, fuck it, we're just gonna name drop. So, um, I was in high school and I was dealing with this guy and his name was Yeah and yeo was a lot older than me if i was uh i want to say i started dealing with him not even my senior year hold on let me think let me think because it wasn't my senior year because i didn't go to school in that area my senior year so it was probably like ninth or tenth grade no maybe boost it up 10th or 11th grade, me and Yale started to deal with each other. He was so much older than me. If I was probably 16, 17, I want to say that that man was probably 23, 24, around that age range. And he was one of them uh, drug dealer killer types. You know what I'm saying? Y'all remember. Y'all remember. I told y'all I used to deal with them. Y'all remember. I already know which concealer I'm going in and I'm using. Don't play. Anyway, I remember being at like my bus stop and this dude rolling up on me hindsight is always 2020 right but in that moment i was like oh my goodness there's this older guy that wants me and remember my body wasn't banging like the girls in the school you know that i wasn't thick ones like that i was skinty minty so to have an older man actually like me you know like that was crazy i had no yeah i was at the bus stop i had just gotten off working at Steinmark. Yeah, yeah, I just got off working at Steinmark and he was like, um, what's your name? We should be friends or whatever. And I was like, my gullible ass again, never having received attention or anything like that. And that's why I say it's really a difference between women who have received att attention and women who haven't. Cause I feel like women who have not received attention or not used to getting attention like they go crazy for attention like oh my goodness the first nigga to talk to you in the club hey how you doing oh i'm good how are you like just very you know but a bitch that's used to receiving attention be like hey how you doing all right get out of my face let me go ahead and keep it moving you know what i'm saying so it's definitely a fucking difference um but at the time again because i was called olive oil in high school your girl was not used to receiving attention especially from my old older man you know and then based on like my my past history because my sa -er, um was older you know what i'm saying so i'm not gonna say i needed attention but if you've ever been through assault and stuff like that then sometimes it isn't always like your trauma response is not always what you think it is like because of that i became very hypersexual because that happened to me at such a young age. I hadn't explored anything at this time because I was too afraid mom was going to kick my ass. But I was definitely curious. So the first person that gave me any attention, I was going to go for it. Hopefully that makes sense, you know. Anyway, um, girl, I thought that it was so cool for me to have this drug dealer kill a boyfriend he had a car you know he was able to take me places and pick me up and 
it was always secretive. Nobody knew. I would ditch school. Nobody knew, you know. Um, and I remember him asking me to come over. And he had already promised that he was going to do some things. Again, curiosity killed the fucking cat. Okay? Literally killed the cat. <laughs> um, so I had caught the bus over there because he couldn't come pick me up. Because I think he was working or... We don't want my mama to know. Anyway, I ditched school. That was like my first time ever ditching. Even on senior ditch day, girl, I did not ditch. I was such a fucking nerd. Like, when I say I was a nerd, girl, I was a fucking nerd, okay? I'm going to go in with my Jaclyn Hill palette because, baby, we not, doing, we not doing too much today, okay? I literally got on here to give y'all story time. That's it. Um, But I catch the bus over here to go to his house or whatever get to his house i still even remember like the route that's fucking crazy um get to his house and he's like you know you want something to eat da, da, da. just being normal predator like now that i am older i can definitely say that that shit was very predatory but at the time once again i thought somebody was definitely into me and you know they want to be girl he used to stay with his mama child he had two kids at the time um yada yada skip i'll get to the in the a little bit down so um anyway he proceeds to say well you know he'd already promised to eat this cat this box or whatever so i get over there and it begins to take place now mind you i am outside of being essayed i'm a complete version like i have never done any of this you know what i'm saying like this is all new to me so he eats the box and i was like oh, okay like i don't really think he knew what he was doing but i was like you know that was cool you know like not really pleasurable but i mean definitely not how my friends had said that it happened because at the front like at the time my friend she had lost her virginity probably like i don't know maybe like a couple months and i think maybe that's what also fed into the curiosity as well she lost her virginity and she was like girl am i walking funny i remember her coming into the gym we were in gym class and she was like am i walking funny because last night me and such and such had did it and i was like no she's like yeah so i was like okay well i thought a part of you doing it was walk funny anyway that happened and i was like that was okay like that 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 wasn't really hyped up to what people said it was like okay and he didn't ask for anything in return. Most of it was just like pleasing me. So then we go to the the aspect of him actually penetrating. Girl, I should have stopped fucking with Yayo after this moment. But again, being young and fucking stupid. Being young and fucking stupid. I just like tell y'all something very personal. And maybe it just has not happened to me. And maybe it's just like me getting very fucking old i don't know but girl i injured my fucking tailbone how i injured my tailbone because i ain't even been doing shit i don't know the only thing that i could think of is when we went to that jill scott concert and if you guys are not new here do y'all know your girl does not know how to wear or pick fucking thongs like they are so uncomfortable to me in any situation like they're just very fucking uncomfortable so i wore a thong that night right and i felt like it was i don't know something about having something to crack my ass just don't it don't it don't sit well with me but anyway i wore it and then i remember trying to get up and just like mm, the crack my ass is a little sore mm -mm, i don't really like that but anyway um ever since then girl like i have been having issues getting up in my tailbone i'm like damn did the bitch fucking fracture it and i don't feel like it was tight i felt like it was like a size up to my normal size but it was still uncomfortable anyway i don't know if that's part of the bitch getting old or if part of bitch your body was not meant to wear fucking thongs then on top of that then on top of that lately so this is off track i'm gonna get back to that in a second but lately, my boobs have been fucking growing, like, at an insane rate. And I know what y'all probably thinking, girl, is you pregnant? First of all, I ain't even done shit to be fucking pregnant. That's the first thing, okay? I told y'all, my ex been gone since, what, like, January, February, some shit like that? I don't know. That nigga been gone for a while. So I ain't even did nothing. Number two, number two, my mom used to be, like, a triple 
F or something like that till she got a breast reduction and I always thought that it did not hit me. I thought I always got my dad's side. I was like, I need a little bit more boobs. But lately these bitches are heavy than a motherfucker. I'm sorry, I had to get that off my chest. They are so fucking heavy and trying to lift them. Girl, I'm thinking about going to get a breast reduction. I actually need to go to, um, we call that Victoria's Secret and get like a, um, an actual bra size because I used to be able to pick up like the little skinny mini bras and go about my way to use the fit girl no I got spillage everywhere and they fucking heavy please send help in the comments please because your girl is struggling then they be sweating underneath like oh god oh, your girl is struggling I'm sorry I had to get that shit off my chest right then I had to do like a little bit of an interlude to get that off my chest I'm sorry now now we go back to the story I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm in the mood to cut my crease so I'm not okay because I gotta wipe this right on off before I go out here in this hundred degree weather and be in this pool I'm so irritated if one person asks me to get into a pool this I'm I might punch them in the face I'm sorry I'm sorry anyway this right here is the car beauty palette if y'all don't have a couple of the car beauty palettes i would totally suggest y'all pick up the es 119 and the sweetest pinks or something like that sweetest treats palette something to that effect if they still carry them i don't know if they still carry them but if they do definitely a great have okay but we're gonna use um miss please in that palette because bro i don't have time like i said i gotta wipe this right on off so we just gonna we about to give y'all something simple <clears throat> and going about our way. Anyway, back to, uh, yeah. So anyway, it comes time for him to strap up and do his thing, right? And um, again, I'm new to this. I'm not true to this. I'm new to this at the time. I don't know shit. All I know is what I've seen on HBO Max. And y'all know they don't be showing nothing besides the girl's titties. They didn't show nothing else. So I don't, I don't know. So anyway, he begins to try to penetrate girl. And I'm like trying to steer him in the right direction or what I think is the right direction. Because girl, I don't, I don't know too much. I'm going in with the glitter, the to die for glitter. And I'm about to just press this onto my my lid give me more pop you know what i'm saying like just give me something more elegant um anyway i don't even know why the fuck i'm doing this why are you doing this to yourself and you gotta take this shit off i'm working on it anyway so he's struggling to find it now mind you you done got two kids and i'm just trying to figure out like bitch like i said i had not done anything so it couldn't be me like are you sure those are your kids because you're having the hardest time of your life right now so um he thinks he finds it i guess girl because i was just i was drippy i think about it the kid always got wet <laughs> it's not funny are you okay i'm sorry um but yeah so i was you know it's a peninsula around me so he thinks that he's the young girl and after this time i'm like okay i'm ready to fucking go home because this is this is a real ghetto you know what i'm saying like this is super ghetto and he thinks that he found a girl and he gets off he did not find it what he was in girl i don't know i don't know and it, it couldn't have possibly been me like i know but I'm going to let you believe that I've always been one to not want to hurt people's feelings. But girl, you missed the mark. But whatever he got off on, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Oh, he would still give me money. And this was after that day. He was still giving me money. We still kept in contact. And it would just be kind of like, um, I don't know, like a every so often rendezvous. Whenever I wanted to go and explore, I would go over there or whatever. So... Just a little, you know, a little rendezvous or whatever. And I remember one time my car almost gave out and I was so scared because I was like, how in the fuck am I going to explain why I'm on this side of town and I was supposed to be in school? So going into my college years, um, we were still messing around or whatever, but I still had like, you know, other people that I was talking to, like he was not my primary, <laughs> but you know, every so often things pop off. Okay. Like if I didn't want to sleep with this dude when I, you know, had the little sexual urge and I would go to Yale or whatever. So there's that. 
So anyway, um, college year, freshman year of college, I was going to like a little community college or whatever. That was a little bit of elf. I was going to a community college and, um, yeah, your girl became preggers. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I became preggers. And, um, I remember telling him and he was like, I mean, you want me to pay half, you pay half. And I was like, all right, I mean, that's cool. So I used my student loan money. Thank God I had like such a good male best friend who went with me because we gonna have to get rid of this. Okay. And I didn't even know that I was preggers. That's the thing. Like, I didn't even know. I knew that my body was changing, but I didn't even know that I was preggers. Sounded the alarm for me was my mother. I remember I was going out to this fashion show and on my way to this fashion show, she mentioned something about like, are you on your period or something? And I was like, no. And she was like, hmm, well, it's been a while since you've been on your period. Now I understand as a parent that I guess it's not too invasive to keep up with your kids period, but I don't know. And I'm like, how does she even know? Like, I don't even remember coming to her and telling her. So it's like, were you checking the fucking trash cans? What we do as parents, I don't, I don't, I don't know, cause I don't, ain't no telling what I'm about to do as a damn parent, so can't really judge there. But anyway, I remember her telling me before I left, she's like, um, if you're pregnant, you better get rid of it before I do. And I was like, girl, whatever, because I, in my mind, I wasn't thinking that I was pregnant, but again, nobody was having talks with me about when you do become pregnant, your body changes. I guess I had missed a couple periods or whatever but again I wasn't really thinking too much into it having that kid mentality and this is why I say like girl do not take the pill because I was on the pill but I'm not gonna lie and say that there weren't times that my ass might have missed the dose and tried to double up on a dose the next day that's why I be like give me this shit in my arm because even sitting here at fucking 30 my ass still got short-term memory and you forgetting shit I be forgetting to take my fucking multivitamins all the fucking time so you putting a responsibility on me as a child to take a fucking pill girl I will forever encourage you getting something inserted. That way, if you do have a slip up, you ain't got to worry about no fucking kid. You know what I'm saying? You'll be good. I always tell my friend that too. She has a daughter and I'd be like, girl, get her on something. Finally, she got her on the thing in the arm, which I'm so proud because that gives her three years to kind of figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause if we're being honest, people, let's, let's be honest here. Especially when you're in a monogamous relationship, sometimes you don't always use a condom. Like... You have slip ups, people. You have slip ups. And so I be feeling like what better way that if I do have a slip up than t for me to be covered regardless, right? So in the back of my mind, as I go to this fashion show, I'm like, I'm telling my friends, I'm like, what the fuck? She had a dream about fish. Like, you know, being very sarcastic about it. Like, girl, ain't nobody fucking pregnant. And then my friend was like, you know, maybe you should just take a test just to be on the safe side. So I'm like, all right, bitch. So I take it the test, girl, and it come back positive. When I tell you I almost shit it fucking bricks, girl, I almost shit it fucking bricks. Like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I was fucking pregnant. Like, I was so fucking scared. And the only thing that rung out in my mind is I got to get rid of it before she find out. Because if she find out, she probably going to beat this fucking kid about me. You know what I'm saying? She probably going to beat this child about me. So I got to get rid of it before she find out. So I went to Planned Parenthood. Um, and I was like, well, how much is it for, you know, the procedure? And they told me the price. And I was like, well... If I don't want my mom to know, because I was on her insurance, so I was like, if I don't want her to know, how do we go about it? And they were like, you gonna need cash. Now, mind you, I had went to school with this girl, and I'm not gonna say her name, even though I know her first and last name, okay? Because when I told you that she was getting these um, abortions and she was popping them bitches like candy, I'm not even fucking joking. I would want to say, probably once a month, this bitch was going back. And then she was telling me, like, the procedure and everything. If we was in, like, the... 10th or 11th grade this heifer had to have already had like 10 procedures bro i'm not even fucking joking i wish i was fucking joking like girl 
it was a lot. So I'm like, well, she said that all you have to do was this. Again, that's why that's why I say it is so important for y'all to talk to y'all kids, y'all sisters, y'all nephews, y'all um, brothers, y'all cousins, whatever. Y'all need to have these conversations because we, I'm not even going to say we. Well, yeah, I'm going to say we because at the time I was a part of the we. I was part of the young crowd. We were getting that information from each other you know what i'm saying so from your other peer group which are children and they asses don't know no better you don't know no better so it's like the blind leading the fucking blind at this point because this bitch told me i was gonna be in and out i was gonna be done it's super easy she like they go in grab the baby head with a suction cup pull it out it's so easy girl so i was like you know i remember her telling me that and she was like she told me where to go which is planned parenthood and get it done and it was super quick and easy this bitch didn't tell me all that went into it right so i'm thinking again i was not scared i mean i was a little fearful but i wasn't because i'm like oh girl told me it's a simple procedure you know what i'm saying she made it sound like super super fucking simple uh this right here was a little bit of the born this way concealer so put that on. I love this concealer more than I love any other concealer. This concealer is a shit. So anyway, go get the money from um, Yayo. He was like, you want me to come? And I was like, no, I'd rather have my best friend there, which is a guy at the time. Um, and then we wound up falling out on some other shit. Y'all remember that, that music, uh, Soul Child song, Just Friends? Girl, I promise y'all it was just like that. Like, I just wanted my friend back. We decided to mess around. This was after all of this happened. We decided to mess around and it just ruined our fucking friendship. And I was like, God damn, I just want my friend back, you know? Uh, but anyway, anyway, we pull up to the Planned Parenthood. Now, this day, it was completely fucking different than any other day. And I don't know if it's because they got a list of the days that the abortions were going to take place or what. But these, it was a whole bunch of people outside picketing and they were like, you're a murderer and all these signs and Sky Daddy wouldn't want you to do this and all this other stuff. And I remember like getting so upset, like girl, why the fuck was I upset? I don't know. I think it just triggered me. Like it was already a hard decision for me. Um, bitch, I'm already scared. I'm already nervous. And you don't seem to understand that, bitch, if I don't do this, my mama gonna whoop my ass. Like, potentially not coming back from this, girl, okay? I may be in the fucking morgue, okay, if I don't, if I don't do this. So, I remember yelling out of the door, like, let he without sin cast the first stone, since y'all want to be out here fucking quoting Bible verses and shit. And I'm pretty sure that not now one of y'all ain't sinned before. So why are you throwing stones at me, bitch? So I'm going back and forth with them. And my friend is like, get in the goddamn car. I'm like, okay. So we go park, we get out, we get on the inside. And um, I remember the lady like pricking my finger to get my blood, make sure everything was okay. And then... I remember this black lady coming in to do the ultrasound. So she did the ultrasound and she's like, look at your baby and all this stuff. Y'all wanted a bright under eyes. So we're going to try to set with the beauty bakery plantain today to see how that goes. Um, but she's like, look at your baby. And I'm like, ma'am, like, I'm not even trying to be funny right now. But girl, I, I, I'm trying to get rid of the kid and I bond with it. Like, I'm. I don't want to see the baby. I don't want to see the baby. I don't want to see the leg. I don't want to see none of that, babes, okay? Again, it's self-preservation. I'm trying not to end up in the fucking morgue. So I need you to come on, speed up this damn process. She's like, do you want a picture at all the time? No. No, and I'm not sure why y'all do that. I, I, well, I kind of understand and I get why y'all do it. But it's very frustrating because do not make me feel bad for having to make this decision. All right, don't you think I already feel bad enough? Don't don't add to that love. And I felt like, I mean, I understand that being their job to just kind of, you know, because who wants to do that? But don't offer the procedure and then try to make me feel bad. Like, girl. And it was like a lot of them that were doing that, you know, just kind of wanted you to change your mind. And it was like, I already don't. I'm already struggling to take care of myself. Um, my mama don't really help out with shit, especially with college and stuff like that. Like, she don't really help out with nothing. And you think I'm about to bring another kid in this world or a kid because that was my first kid. So bringing um, a kid in this world, like, I'm just not going to do it. 
so then they um i get to the back and they have me take like your first dose of pills um because you i did the pill i didn't do the suction when i was i was too chicken shit to do that one but they have you take your pills right and i remember the black lady was another black lady she was back there and she's like you remind me of my daughter i don't want to see you in here again and i was like girl you act like you got my chart there that reminds you of the chick from high school the bitch that come here all the fucking time that's not me this is my first time here okay and i don't want to hear that i remind you of your fucking daughter because do you do you want to help me provide for this kid okay then okay then give me the fucking medication and I thought I thought it was going to be a breeze. Like I, I really did because oh girl, I keep wanting to say her fucking name and keep popping up. Um, but oh girl, told me it was going to be a fucking breeze. Okay, like she was like, yeah, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So when I took the the first pill, I was like, okay, this not bad. Like we we doing okay, you know. Like I'm good, you know. This isn't horrible, or so I fucking thought or so i fucking thought all right i'm gonna use the shade 480 by fenty the foundation shade to as my contour because girl i need to start using some of these products that i'm wasting my money on um but let me just say that when it comes to highlighting under your eye it really depends on what you like okay so if you are the type of girly that loves a uk baddie under eye highlight then you want to go a couple shades higher than you with your baking powder for me i kind of like it to be bright but not too ghostly bright because i feel like when you take pictures it just don't look right and i'm learning as um i continue to learn how to do my makeup that less is actually more it doesn't take a lot for you to get what you want so that's why i said i was gonna set with the plantain just to kind of show you like brighter but i probably would not go any shade higher than that like i know that they have another shade at target for beauty bakery that's a lot higher but for me personally i would not go any higher than that simply because i like more of a natural under eye brightness okay so don't go too high when baking i mean when setting because i'm telling you the flashback the flashback gonna be insane. It may look good on camera when you recording and you ha 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 chi 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 chi. But girl, when they take them photos, it's gonna be too damn high. Okay, so don't don't do that. And you'll see the difference and stuff like that. Like you'll see from where you contoured and where the highlight stops. It is just I be thinking photo wise. Photo wise, I need to look good. I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution baking powder. I refuse to use anything else to bake. I don't know. I just really like the way that it looks. And so I'm refusing to use anything else. Um, but anyway, back to what I was saying. Where was I at? Okay, so I went home because I had to drop my friend off. He had something to do so he couldn't stay. So I went home. Um, and the way my mom's house was set up, she had a basement. And so I was like, all right, well, fuck it. I'll just take the other half and go down to the basement so they don't know what the hell is going on. This is, again, why I say that you guys need to please. I know how hard it can be to hear that the person that you love or you envision as being a little girl or a little boy is out here having sex or doing whatever. But I think that those conversations need to be had because so many times, especially if a person that's operating out of fear. Oh, my God the decisions and stuff that they make is just it's insane like they're not thinking rationally at that time so anyway that's why i always be like i would i don't care about nothing a person that fear me i get nervous about motherfuckers that fear you okay because people that fear you will wind up hurting you or you know offing you real bad because people that operate out of fear it's it's a different ballpark. Like, they not thinking rationally. Like, they are so scared. So, I don't want nobody to ever fear me. Okay? Because you may not be thinking all the way. But, um, anyway, I go down to the basement. I take the other half. And I was like, okay. Oh, girl. I'm going to say her name again. I was like, oh, girl. Wasn't wrong. Like, this not bad. You know, like, I'm not experiencing nothing heavy. Girl, was I fucking wrong. Boy, was I wrong. So, anyway, I take this, the other half, right? And way our basement was set up like we had a bathroom we had like a whole bunch of stuff down here so i take it and then i go downstairs i'm laying on the couch i'm like oh, okay you know this isn't bad girl when i tell you that pain it hit and it was just so much blood like my god and this is why i'm like 
again, you want to be a safe place for people because um, I could have totally died in that basement and my parents would have not known anything or how it happened because I was secretive and I was just doing stuff because I was fucking fearful. So here I am going through it. And like when I tell you I blacked out, like I was unconscious, I woke up and I had a pool full of blood, like girl, anything could have happened to me and nobody would have been the wiser. I would, as a parent, like putting myself as a parent and my daughter was going through that, I would have wanted her to feel comfortable coming to me and talking to me. Now, I'm not saying I wasn't going to be pissed the fuck off. I was going to be mad as a motherfucker. But I would have wanted you to come to me and we do that safely and I'll be able to monitor you and make sure that you're okay, you know, versus you trying to do this shit on your own. Anyway, I had so many complications from doing that. Girl, I had to go to the hospital and everything. Like, I bled for a whole year after that. And I remember finally telling my mom, like, um, because I was still bleeding. So maybe after a couple months of me having it done, I told her, I was like, you know, hey, I had an abortion. And she was like, well, why you didn't come talk to me? You could have came and talked to me and all this other shit, right? And I was like, no, I couldn't have, you know, this, this lash wants me to fight them today. Oh my gosh, stop playing with me. Um, I was like, okay, like I would have never said no, I couldn't have to her because in her mind, she was just the ideal parent and so all open and stuff like that. But she was the type of parent that if I came to her and I told her, something then she would use it against me later on which is what the fuck she did you out here having fucking abortions you stupid hoe and all this other stuff but mind you you just said i can fucking talk to you this is why i don't fucking talk to you what is going on with me in this goddamn lash um anyway i had told her i was like okay well you talking about i could have came and talked to you and anything could have happened to me and you would have been devastated if i would have died in the basement da, 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 da. so i told her i was like you know i'm having problems i'm still bleeding afterwards thinking maybe she'll come to me come with me to the doctor's appointment because i don't care how old you get at the time i probably was like 18 but i don't care how old you get you will always need your parent okay all the time and um so I was like, well, maybe she'll come to the doctors. Girl, you know, this lady dropped me off to the doctors and left. And left. So I, she was like, fuck it, you 18, you figure it out. So then I'm trying to understand and deal with that. You know what I'm saying? And and old girl, I almost said her name. Yeah. Old girl didn't tell me the psychological effects that that has on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, Doing that, as much as people joke about it, hell, I joke about it, you know, like, I'll send a kid back to Sky Daddy, you know? As much as people joke about it, like, it is something that fucks with your brain. If you are a type of person that are is able to kind of, like, do that and not feel guilty or not feel anything afterwards, more props to you, because, girl, I couldn't. It fucked with me for a while, and that's why, as cliche as it may sound, I always felt like, well, I had twins this go round because that was that other kid coming back to me. Um, and yeah, just please, if y'all don't take nothing else from this video, please be a safe place for your child, your daughter, your cousin, your friend's daughter. Like I talk to my friend's daughter all the time all the time like that's my girl you know what i'm saying and sometimes like as as much as you are open and loving to your child sometimes those conversations are very awkward and very hard for the child so i try to be that place for her like sometimes you can't talk to your mom so you can go ahead and talk to me and i'm gonna relay it to your mom because i would never overstep parenting but i understand that because i was that kid you know like it didn't matter how open my mom was like I didn't want to talk to my mom about it. And then when I would talk to her about it, shit, she was just going to throw it in my face later when she was upset. You know what I'm saying? Like, throw it right on up in my face when she was upset. So it just makes you not want to talk to them. And I was telling my friend's daughter that, because I talked to her the other day, that parents, like, us as parents, like, we don't always get it right. Hell, I'm not getting it right. I try to learn from the things that I felt like my mom did wrong. And I try to be different with my children. But I'm still not getting it right. And I think as a parent, the hardest thing that being a parent and then also being in a child's role too, the hardest thing that parents do 
and it's hard for any of us to admit is that sometimes we don't listen to our kids man we don't listen as much as we should meaning like we always feel like if in this situation i feel like my decision as a parent is better for you as the kid i'm not going to hear you out i'm not going to listen and sometimes that can be very detrimental because it can make your kid feel like they are unheard and when they are unheard then they go to other people who, who they feel like is gonna hear them and sometimes people prey on that like yeah yo cool little ride have fun but that was definitely when I look back on it, that was predatory because your ass was so much older than me and you you had so much more life experience. It wasn't like I was like 19, 20, you know what I'm saying? Like a grown adult. Like I was still developing. You preyed on the fact that you knew. Oh, you know, and and I always say that I feel like predators know. I'm doing too much talking, I gotta go. But predators be knowing. You know, like I was watching this documentary. Oh, um, I think it might have been YouTube or NBC or something like that. But the guy was saying it was a predator. He preyed on kids. And he was saying the way that I know to prey on kids is normally single households and stuff like that because those kids are normally searching for stuff. If I talk to the kid and I feel like they can make their own decisions or I feel like they're not lonely, then I'll leave that kid alone. But the ones that are yearning for stuff, that's how it makes it easier because their mindset is open and that allows me to get away with it longer because I know they won't tell because they feel like I'm their friend. It was very sick and demented the way he was talking but when I digested that as a parent and I digested it as an essay victim and I digested that as a person who has dealt with a lot of older men in my younger days not older men now because I love me an older man now mm. but in my younger days you know what I'm saying I don't feel like I was mentally prepared for the older men that came into my life I think um once again I was susceptible and open to manipulation which allowed them to be predators hopefully that makes sense i'm doing a lot of talking i told you i gotta go i gotta get this video uploaded and i gotta go but okay so let me go ahead and do the liner and then we'll come back and we gonna finish everything and i done figured out a lip liner like i told y'all is i told y'all niggas i told y'all niggas y'all ain't want to listen to me y'all ain't want to listen to me y'all tell me i was wrong but it's okay because i'm about to prove y'all right I'm prove y'all wrong. I'm prove y'all fucking wrong. You just give me a second. Okay, let's finish up because your girl gotta go. I tried to give myself like the little fair faucet curls today. I'm not really sure if I'm feeling them. We gonna see. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of the shade 445 from Fenty to blend out my under eye. It's been sitting for a while, girl. Where was I at? I can't even remember. Um, anyway, me and Yayo kind of lost contact. I think he reached out to me maybe last year or the year before and was like, you were the one that got away. And I was like, oh my gosh, thankfully, bitch, thankfully I was the one that got away and didn't end up wanting your baby mamas because I think he went on to have some more kids too. And it was like, girl, oh, a child support wouldn't pay me nothing. Hell, my baby daddy had some kids after me and thank God that I put him on child support first, so I'm entitled to the majority of it. I mean, he don't pay shit as it is, but when a bitch does, okay, when he does finally pay, then um, majority of it will come to me before it goes to the other young lady. Sorry, <laughs> beat you to the punchline. Um, I need to take his ass to court, but I don't be having time. Like, I've never been one of those girls that just be like, oh, I'm going down here to the child support office. Child support was established for my kids in the beginning when they were like, I don't know, maybe like um, just born. And the only reason why I put him on child support was because um, I had to in the state of Texas, you have to put them on child support if you want to receive any type of benefits or whatever. And trust me, Texas definitely takes a portion when they do pay. I think they took one of his tax returns a couple years ago. And Texas did take their cut before they issued me mine. And they said it was um, it was reimbursement for me being on food stamps while in Texas. Texas is fucking trash. If y'all don't know that, now you know. Texas is definitely a trash-ass state. Yeah. When they first told me they was going to have to put uh, my baby daddy on child support, he got so mad. Because I told him, I was like, I got to put you on child support in order to get benefits for the kids. He got so angry. And it's like, how you going to catch an attitude with me 
bitch for your children for having to provide for your children because i don't even know if they minds we did a test for you we did a dna test for you we never did a dna test for me okay i was high on drugs they took them kids out of the room and brought them back i don't know if the kids belong to me and i'm gonna tell you right now if i ever find out that they don't belong to me i definitely want all my monies back every last dime of it i want it back okay but yeah you're gonna get an attitude with me for having to provide for your children like Make it make sense, kid. Make it make sense. Okay, so y'all swore up and down when I told y'all. This is probably like last year sometime. I Or maybe a year before. I don't know. But I told y'all that y'all lip liner needed to be the same color as your nipple. And that would give you the perfect nude. Y'all tried to roast me in them comments. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's not true. That's not true. Because my nipple is dark. Because my nipple is down dark. My nipples are dark, okay? And I tried it again recently. And it gave me the perfect fucking nude so maybe so maybe just maybe y'all will start listening to the kid i don't know when but hopefully y'all start listening so i'm using the jaclyn hill palette and i'm going in with this shade right here this is the color of my nipple i know that's a little tmi but look my little gun drops are that color okay and this color is called cinnamon roll now because i can't seem to find the perfect pencil to go in and do it i'm going to use what i got all right, because I'm tired of wasting money, you know, I'm sick of that. So I'm going to just dry out my lips and then I think that's how I start at the bottom. And this is like a little angled brush I'm using. I'm not going to use this as my liner. I don't know why I stopped. I stopped listening to my stuff, started listening to y'all. Y'all don't be knowing just like I don't be knowing shit. We be learning together over here struggling. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Butterscotch, right, from NYX. I told y'all I like this in a live video. It's cute. Definitely a cute color. I need to try Cinnamon Roll. Wasn't Cinnamon Roll like a big deal back in the day? I don't even know if they still carry it. Or am I tripping? Was that not a valid color? I don't know. Then I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place. Barely there. I probably should be using a lipstick. But again, girl, this makeup is about to come right off. Because I i got to go to the pool. So I'm going to just apply that right here in the center. I love how Juvia's Place stuff is just so covered. I don't know. Their lip glosses are very, how you say it? Like full coverage. So it make you feel like you're wearing a lipstick, but you're not. Then I'm going to go in because I need that center just to be a little bit more white. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So I'm going in with my shade Brightener from Maybelline. And I'm going to put it right here. Boom. The perfect fucking new. Take a minute. Soak it in. Because I sat here and I told y'all. What Boosie daughter say? I told y'all niggas. I told y'all niggas. I sat up here and told y'all that the color of your nip would be the perfect liner for you. Nude liner. And y'all sat there and you tried to argue me down. You argued me down so heavy that I stopped doing it myself. Fucked up my whole lip liner game. Because of y'all. You know? So I want the apology. And I want the apology now. Because girl, do you... Stop playing with her. Stop playing with her. She don't know a lot about a lot. But she know a little about a little. Okay? And that's just... That's just on period. Alright? As far as the under eye goes, like I told you guys, I am not a big fan of... Like the huge bright under eye. I just feel like when you take photos and that be the thing. Like if somebody gonna take a photo of me off guard. I might be in the background of a photo. I need to make sure that the face is sitting. So I do not use the super bright setting powders. As far as the setting powder. I would say one to two shades lighter than you. If not your actual skin tone. Because when you bake. 
Nine times out of ten, if you're going to bake, you're going to be baking with like a banana powder or a brightening powder, which is going to brighten it up even further. So just get something to set that's a little bit more your skin tone and then bake brighter if that's what you want to do. But this is like the brightest that I can get it because I want it to remain natural. I don't like... I don't like all that extra. That ain't me, you know? So this is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I gotta go. Hopefully I'll get this uploaded and out to you guys today if you're nice to me. If y'all treat me right. Because y'all know y'all don't. Y'all don't treat me right, okay? So I might get it uploaded to you today. I don't know. We gonna see. But anyway, I gotta go. But I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next time.